Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, the 22nd of December, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We commence with national news. Federal government lists God is good mottos, young shall grow, and three others for implementation of the 50% fair reduction scheme. Senate approves nomination of 11 judges for Supreme Court. The First Lady, Remy Tinubu, commits 950 million naira to support military, police retirees, and others. Nigeria's unemployment rate rises marginally to 4.2% in the second quarter, says National Bureau of Statistics. Group ask federal government to halt Ajaokuta steel mill revitalization over backdoor contracts. Nigeria's public debt hit 87 trillion naira in the third quarter of 2023. It's against God's law. Nigerian Catholic bishops speak on same-sex blessings. Please arrest IPOP commander terrorizing residents in Imo State. Please ban sale and use of fireworks in Nasarawa for Yuletide. Jam says opt UTME fee is due to cashlet policy at CBT centers. On to business news. Santa Claus rally in Fuji as NGX hits all-time high. Portacot refinery commences operations again. Petroleum products will be ready after Christmas break. Seaway Water and Golden Penny Spaghetti have valid registration, says Navdak. In entertainment news, Davido's Unavailable is my song of the year, says Rihanna. In international news, with regards to P&ID, again, UK court throws out $11 billion damages bill against Nigeria. Angola to exit OPEC and says its interest is not served. Finally, in sport news, European clubs and leagues reject Super League despite European Union court's verdict. Struggling colon parts ways with manager Bongat. Get details of these news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Don't forget to follow us at Guardian Nigeria on all our social media platforms. I'm Ifunaya Wajiku for Guardian TV. Good night.